What is your favorite quote from SpongeBob? You know, if I were to die right now in some sort of fiery explosion due to the carelessness of a friend well, that would just be okay. Once upon a time there was an ugly barnacle, he was so ugly that everyone died. The end. What really completes this quote is being able to hear the penny whistle in the background as Patrick says it. The music is an enormous part of why I love the show. Who you callin' a pinhead? Patrick Star. I think this is the quote that most comes to mind for me, along with the image on his head. Like this. No. You're at the bottom. Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else. Not until 4. Apostrophe. The casual. Deadpan not until 4 breaks me every time. People talk loud when they want to sound smart, right? Correct. On second thought, maybe we should just play so quietly that no one can hear us. Well maybe we wouldn't sound so bad if some people didn't try to play with big meaty claws. What did you say punk? Big. Meaty. Claws. Well these claws ain't just for attracting mates. Goodbye everyone I'll remember you all in therapy. HTTPS slash slash yow 2 B slash S 8 W 3 P 6 Y 4 Z Q. I love you. HTTPS slash slash yow 2 B slash vow 9 zbkbke. Do you think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way yes. What? It's just an ordinary crabby oh my goodness. Squidward. We are not tealkin about this. Or this. Where E.T. Alking about this, I don't know why I love it so much honestly. I just find it funny. I can see the dotted lines once more. Through clenched teeth. Yeah hear that. Boy. Mrs. Puff already has a hat. Am I a pretty girl? Ah. Your beautiful cute random dude staying at Mr. Krabs. It's the mailman stink eye that makes it. Squidward, who orders a crabby patty at 3 a.m. Patrick, alarm rings oh boy. 3 a.m. When me and my mother get snacks past midnight we always call it oh boy 3 a.m. time. Wait. Spongebob. We are not cavemen. Patrick proceeds to walk over to a computer. We have technology. Cue smashing of computer. This is the scene that plays in my mind every time I have college assignments due lol. The Spongebob episode that always played in my head during college was the one when he had to write the essay. Any time I had to write one I'd think of Spongebob burning his house down due to procrastination and the house is like Spongebob. Why? Why did you set me on fire Spongebob? Why didn't you just write your essay? Stop wasting tiiii time. Some episodes are super stressful. Agreed. So many of them hit harder when you're older lol. That one episode, when Spongebob kept missing the bus had 3 year old me in shambles. Hey if we are underwater then how come there is a... I was going to say this one. One of the only times they actually make it, so the water does what it's supposed to moo. Also writing on paper that one time. The paper that they immediately threw in a roaring fire, while commenting on how folks don't understand the limitations of life underwater. Because that was glorious. But a visit to the Krusty Krab makes everyone happy, and what could be better than serving up smiles, being dead or anything else? The whole premise of working a dead-end job and being miserable about it alone is relatively funny. Squidward, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna blow up, Spongebob? No. Worse. It'll go right to your thighs, Squidward, my thighs, Spongebob, and then you'll blow up. God I loved this one. Shut your mouth you mediocre clarinet player. Mediocre? He cries you a sweater of tears. And you kill him. Apostrophe. Another great bit from that episode is when Squidward tells Mr. Krabs and he says there's nothing he can do. He's seen it 11 times. Then Squidward calls the hospital and you just hear Squidward repeating nothing we can do. Seen this before. 11 times. The scene later makes it even better Squidward. I'm going to make Spongebob's final hours the best he's ever had, and this time, there's gonna be love. So much. He's gonna drown in it. Drown in it, Mr. Krabs pulls out clipboard. Note to self. Watch out for Squidward Yelly Spongebob is a gem. He's just standing there, menacingly. Wee woo wee woo. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. 
You gotta start the quote slow the lol wee woo. Wee woo. We woo woo wee woo. SpongeBob I'm scared. Leedle leedle lee. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Milk spills. What is today but yesterday's tomorrow, Mr. Krabs? This has stuck with me for years. Unfortunately Squidward saying why, do today what you can put off till tomorrow stuck with me. But, if today is yesterday's tomorrow. Krusty Krab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. Standing at the concessions. Plotting his oppressions. I will dismantle this oppressive establishment board by board. I will saw the tables of tyranny in half. I will gnaw at the ankles of big business. I never understood this episode until I got older. Plankton, tell that guy to go take a hike. SpongeBob, would you like to take a hike with me? I like how the random customer is immediately on board to go on a hike lol. Don't touch me I'm sterile. I work in an operating room and I think of this quote at least once a day lol. I also think of this quote when I have to drop sterile equipment. Firmly grasp it. Big me at e. Claws, wheel these claws, aren't just for Atricton mates. Bring it on old man. Bring it on. Why did you eat my boots mister? Crabs. Sponge boy me bob. I love that. You're good. You're good. You're good. Don't worry captain. We'll buff out those scratches. We say this 120 times a night while playing Sea of Thieves. East. I thought you said weast. This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is advanced darkness. When the power goes out I always call it advanced darkness and no one knows what I'm saying haha. <laughs> That's probably because they can't hear you very well since it's so dark. They PBBBBTT weren't PBBBTT using PBBTT the PBBBTT right PBBBTT accent. Technique. Technique. Bring it around town. Do the pelvic woo. Stop on your right foot. Don't forget it. Spongebob to Squidward after hearing him play his clarinet. All those wrong notes you played made it sound more original. Apostrophe. Welcome to jazz. On a related note, now you must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. HTTPS slash slash yao 2 B slash M4 S E K I H G 0 I K Jazz. It's about the notes you don't play. Just play the right notes, Angela. Liar liar plants for hire. It's pants on fire Patrick. You would know. Liar. The entire episode of Idiot Box. But especially during the avalanche scene. Attention climbers. Please hold on. The saws are on the way. Yai. Spongebob. You're gonna have to cut my leg off I can't do that Patrick why not? Because I already cut off my own arms. How are you guys doing that? First we establish a base camp at 15. 0, 0, 0 feet. Now let him have it. You can have it. Apostrophe. You used me. For land development. That wasn't very nice. I work in a land development engineering office and this bad boy constantly makes the rounds. That is excellent. Brightens my day. Spongebob leans out the window. Hey Squidward. Could you play a little? Better? HTTPS. Slash slash yao 2. B slash PMGN 0 WVWC 4. I love how he just casually moves his house 90 degrees with no explanation. I think 90 plus percent of the show is casual absurdity with no explanation xd. R slash casual absurdity sounds like a great idea for a subedit. Just made it. Pink one. Take us behind those rocks. Moving behind the rocks. Glory music plays kh 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 you're good you're good keep going you're good and stop don't worry captain we'll just buff out those scratches apostrophe shanghai is the greatest episode I laugh to tears every time the scene where the flying dutchman scares the child, but Spongebob and Patrick mess it up, and the kid goes those guys are dorks. Yes but they are my dorks. And the perfume department part. Patrick. Your genius is showing. Where? It was his hat mister. Krabs. He was number one. Licking dork knobs is illegal on other planets. My leg. 
I have a painful leg condition and nowadays I'm constantly saying my leg. I have evidently grown up to be this fish. Poorly drawn wrench lands on Patrick's head where's the leak ma'am. Finland. Listen you crustaceous cheapskate. Squidward's been living at my house driving me crazy. And you're not gonna hire him back all because of a stupid dime. Two things that won't work. What are you saying? I hate all of you. We've been smeckledorfed. That's not even a word and I agree with ya.